Today, Judy Genshaft. Judy Genshaft. Judy Genshaft. Will be officially sworn in. The University of South Florida makes it official today for new president Judy Genshaft. She had fire in the belly and a dream in her eyes. She was the person who could get the job done. She knew that she had to, to drive the research. She always knew where she was going, and she always knew how to get there. We are a university on the rise, and President Genshaft is a major reason for that success. Judy was determined every single year. She talked about preeminence. That's where we're going. That's where we're going to be. Dr. Genshaft comes to Tampa from the number two job at the Albany campus of the State University of New York. During my tenure as president of the State University of New York at Albany, one of my first decanal recruits was Judy Genshaft. Judy was a professor at Ohio State at the time, and she came with great energy, enthusiasm, and intellect. Well, back in 2000, when I was on the search committee, we were looking for someone who could elevate the university. We saw a lot of applicants come through, but Judy Genshaft stood out. She just impressed everybody immediately with her energy level, and it was just a pleasure to have a leader that was really all in for the university. My first impression of the university was stellar, and I could see all the capability that this university had. In my bones, I knew it was a good fit. When Judy Genshaft came to be president, I was really excited. I thought, here's a woman that no science that understands it, but really wanted to take us to that next level. It was all about her shifting that culture, shifting it to research. When I started in 2000, we had about $175 million of research grants and contracts, and now we're up to $568 million a year. Everything that we do is calculated to make a difference. We work hard, we hire excellent faculty, we give them that kind of infrastructure and the freedom. We are now known nationally and internationally. She's being advocate number one for bringing the world to the University of South Florida. When we bring the best and the brightest minds together from different universities around the world to work hand in hand to find sustainable and innovative solutions. That's when we really start to realize the full potential of higher education today. She understood that honors needed to be given a, a greater visibility, that his profile needed to be raised, and so she created the Honors College and it has flourished under her leadership. Well, there's so many major projects that I think have laid the groundwork for the next 50 years of our institution. USF St. Pete has really transformed. She put so much money and she put resources in. She raised the academic abilities. We're so involved and collaborating now with so many different companies and so many different organizations. USF Sarasota Manatee used facilities shared by another university. Our students could only avail of those classrooms in the evening. So since President genshaft has been here, we have a brand new campus, so our enrollment has grown. Whether it's a new student union, the Marshall Center, the Villages, Res Halls in St. Petersburg, it's all coming together to make a very happy graduate of the University of South Florida. Tampa is a final destination. It is a starting destination for the South Florida Bulls. They will host LSU. Our women's basketball program has been very, very successful. She's courtside at every one of our games uh, with our young ladies. We've been in the NCAA tournament five of the last six years, and we couldn't have done that without her support. When we recruit a student athlete or we interview somebody for a job opening, 
We always talk about the, the commitment that the president has for athletics, for the university, and the community. Seeing the admiration and like the love that the student athletes have for my mom, it's pretty special. It's really cool when they all gather around her, like hold her up or something. It's really, that's just a cool moment to be a part of. We just developed and clicked right off the bat. Please welcome tonight's community hero, Dr. Judy Genshaft. USF DNA, the Lightning DNA, we're all the same. And that's why I think we've had such a great partnership. What better anchor is there than this USF School of Medicine? There's gonna be a much more direct connection with downtown and USF, and that's gonna make USF be such a bigger part of the community. One of the things I'm really proud of is that during my tenure, uh, we worked together to bring a camel into downtown Tampa. We wanted to have that presence so that when people came downtown, you know, and they look at the vibrancy office buildings and the residential and so forth, that they also saw the University of South Florida. And so very pleased now that the next step, of course, is the USF Medical School, which will be in the Channel District. As we were trying to convince the Board of Governors to support a very large investment by the state in the new medical school, there was a sense among some of my colleagues that it was just impossible. She never wavered. Being proximate to Tampa General is a really, really big deal. It's on the waterfront in one of the fastest growing cities in the country. So timing is everything and this is our time. It makes it so our young people want to stay here. There's opportunity for them and we can import other talent. Carol and I hope that this School of Medicine will inspire others to continue the transformation and the philanthropy that's necessary for the growth of this community. I just think education is the most important thing that we can have in our society. We just thought that what the University of South Florida was bringing to the table was utmost importance for our region and our, and our state. So it's been a great pleasure and honor to be associated. Not many college presidents have given to their university that they work for as liberally as Steve and Judy have to the University of South Florida. I find myself reflecting on the impact we have been able to make as a WLP community. Well, we started Women in Leadership and Philanthropy and it really was an outgrowth of where can women give to help other women on campus. It was just nice to be able to be a part of that and teach women finances, health care, family, or anything that a woman needs to know. It was the time for women to come together with their resources and have a say in how their money could be directed to education and to philanthropic needs of the university. She has changed more lives than she knows and she's transformed more lives than she can imagine. The Genshaw Greenbaum Passport Scholarship has been essential in allowing me to study abroad, giving me these opportunities to go and explore different cultures and understand how different people live. And I think it's gonna be very helpful for me as a future physician so that I know how to treat people from various backgrounds. I grew up with the notion that if you have something, it's really important to help others and you'll be even richer for that. And as you know, I'm very, very passionate about USF, and I'm very proud of the students and the faculty and staff that we have, so anything I can do to help them is great. Plus, with their success, it's our success. She's a president who actually gives resources it's our good fortune to give back to the university that has meant so very much to us. The gift is a $20 million gift. At five stories and over 80,000 square feet, this new building will stand as a symbol of USF's commitment to excellence in education and the university's faith in our students as the thought leaders of the 21st century. Judy Genshaft's gifts were the model 
for everyone else. Judy didn't have to raise a billion dollars. She didn't have to personally get us to preeminence and have everyone graduate in six years. She knows how to inspire and pick people who can do it, let them do their jobs, but also encourage them and, and give them that feeling of accomplishment. It takes a team from staff at every level to faculty to administration to keep moving in the same direction toward the same goals. I was her first student body president, so we really came into leadership at USF at the same time. It was a great experience. I learned a lot about leadership, about making decisions. I found myself using those same techniques now as a higher ed professional myself. And so it's, it's interesting to think back on those times and realize that um, those were meaningful mentoring experiences that I didn't know I would need or need to use. She talks to you as a person, as a human being. There's not a single student that I've met at the University of South Florida that doesn't know President Kenta. She takes the time to, you know, ask them about what they're studying, ask them about maybe some of the ups and downs about their time at USF, things that they're really enjoying, maybe things that they want to see improve. To the sweet of Alpha. She's always been a big proponent of education and higher education and just continuing to learn and pushing yourself. So I think that's really affected me and my drive to continue my education and keep on learning. When you look at the student success metrics, the graduation rates, the retention rates, the incoming student SAT scores, GPAs, uh, it's just tremendous. Recently, you know, preeminence, the Phi Beta Kappa chapter has been just icing on the cake for the uh, accomplishments we've had under Judy's leadership. I've been on cloud nine. It's just phenomenal. It is phenomenal. But what really makes me proud, we earned it. I've seen so much growth in this university in the athletic department. Just what a wonderful job she has done in the community as well. She's going to be terribly missed. To be able to be supportive of risky endeavors and to have the confidence in your people that they'll be successful takes a great leader. We have been blessed that she's been willing to stay this long so that she could have this impact. We, USF, are elite. We, USF, are preeminent. I'm very proud to have worked alongside Judy, but I would tell you, she has been singularly a change agent. She is a dynamo, and we are very blessed to have her for the years that we've had her, and we wish her the best success in enjoying the rest of her life. She really lives USF and bleeds green and gold. There is no person on the face of this earth that is more passionate about the success of this university than Judy Ginshaft, and that is why she has produced the results she's produced here. This is the journey that we've been on as a family. I made so many special memories in terms of what we've accomplished here, from being able to be in homecoming parades to being a part of the different campaigns, uh, hitting the billion dollars for the university and hitting all of the milestones that have happened at the university during her leadership. It's been so special to be a part of something greater than yourself and that's what being a part of a university is like. USF is my passion. This community has been just incredibly supportive of our efforts so I just want to say I appreciate you so much for your support and trust in all that we've accomplished and I hope I've made you proud.